I was raped at uh, Presbyterian Hospital here in New York on the seventh floor in the Milstein building. Two men, one started, took me from my bed. And I think it started because he was, he was in charge of the washing of patients and dressing them because I was paralyzed from the waist down. I had conjunctivitis in my brain, and so I had, the, I had the symptoms of a stroke, so I couldn't move, and my speech was slurred, and my vision was all gone. And so I couldn't see anything on the boards. There was a phone in the corner, but I didn't know that phones are free in hospitals because of the cell phones. The last time I was in the hospital, which I wasn't in the hospital at all, was the phones were like $5 a day. And so I didn't touch the phone because I didn't, I didn't pay $5 a day yet. So he's like, anyway, this man creeped in at a time when I didn't have no visitors and my doctor's rounds were until next week. He took me from my bed and uh, I don't know where I was. And I woke up to uh, being had sex with hard. And I thought I was dreaming. And then he was he was uh, ramming something. He was doing it very hard. And I woke up and his face was in my face like this. <laughs> How do you want a bass? The hospital, I never would have known who he was. But he knew he was gonna get away with it. Uh, he knew he was gonna get away with it because he did it before, which I found out. Anyway, he was ramming my ass with a dildo, hard. It was a long black dildo with a condom on it. <laughs> and he was having a good time. He was like excited like a kid, this grown man. And he was ramming the hell out of me and holding me down. I had very little strength. And I kept begging him to stop because I thought he was using his own penis at first. And then when I looked down, I could see it was a black, a long black dildo. And he was, he was uh, fucking the shit out of me with it. It's true. And I was trying to fight him, but I couldn't. He's, uh, he's five, like five, six, five, five, seven. But he's very built. He's very strong. He's, he's a, a weightlifter. And he just kept doing it and laughing and doing it and laughing. And then, uh, they would stop. And a man walked in the room. He was a tall man. This guy was like 6'3". And I was trying to tell him to help me. That Clive was hurting me. But I couldn't because my, my adrenaline was so high. And my speech was already messed up. I could just get out moans. But I could point to him and try to say he's hurting me. And the man smiled too, just like Clark. And I was so relieved because I was he was going to take me. The man did take me. He took this arm, put it here. He took this other arm. Clark put it here. They flipped me over. <laughs> when I was in the hospital, I had developed bed sores. And before bed sores become bed sores, there are these pus. They form that kind of pus. Almost like if you get a burn. It's pretty gross. Uh, he pulls out a razor blade and he cut each one open. And I had like about three or four of them. He cut them all over, which means they had planned it, and Clyde knew because Clyde washed me every day. And then after he cut them open, he reached over on the table because they give you ice cold water in a, in, a, in a cup with ice to all the patients. He poured them into my wounds. And I don't know why. The cold water, when it hit those open sores, I screamed. Ah! And as far as I know, I, they, they took me someplace dark, but at Presbyterian Hospital, there's a lot of dark places. And they both were laughing. And I remember looking at the tall one's face, begging him to stop. I couldn't make him stop. And he was looking at me in joy. Oh my God, I never see evil other than now, because the cops everywhere there trying to take me down. And they're pretty vicious. We'll get to that later. But I never seen evil like. Pablo, but you could, like you could bite it. He was in my face. And he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was 
out and cheering and joy that I was screaming I was in pain. Okay, the way Street. And um I thought maybe I just had a bad dream. And I reached down into my ass. And there was psycho gel. It was psycho gel. It's a child cognitive use that homosexual men use. And I knew he raped me. Please go. And there was nothing I could do about it. Please go and find the rest of the video and watch the whole thing. It's very pointed. It's just not about my um, me being raped. Thank you.